Hello everyone, my name is Arden, and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at LEGO Star Wars set number 75199. It's the General Grievous's combat speeder. Uh, this released in 2018, January 1st of that year. It has 157 pieces, two minifigures, and was $35 uh, Canadian. Um, I believe when I bought this, it was at about of its end of its lifespan. And I got this on sale for $30, $25, $20. dollars i do not know exactly what it was, but it was a decent price and enough for me to buy this set. Uh, currently, it's worth around $100 sealed. Um, of course, Grievous is a big part of this set, and of course, Grievous being in sets definitely seems to increase the price of any set that he's in, whether that's the Grievous Starfight or really any general Grievous set with that piece or multiple pieces making up the character seem to really make sets expensive and I guess at the time this one was no different 157 pieces for $35 was quite a bit which sort of makes sense that I didn't uh, get this right away but you know you get sort of a sizable thing here and looking at it now $35 for this set I'm totally fine with it given the price of sets currently and you know I'm with that Grievous I'm totally fine with this. Another thing that drew me to this set when I originally purchased it was Mace Windu. Um, I had an older version of Mace Windu, um, but I, I just didn't have that many Mace Windus, so it was sort of an exciting uh, thing. I think this set's colors just look great, of course, aligning with those Clone Wars era of Separatist vehicles, and of course in 2018 we weren't getting as many of these like Clone Wars prequel vehicles as we are now when every second set seems to be one, which I love it, but it almost, I will say, it's almost getting to a point of being a bit repetitive, where in 2018 it was sort of really slow, getting maybe one or two a year, where in this we're now getting like five to ten a year, and um, it's getting to the point, I don't know if I'm the only one who feels this way, but it's a little bit much. Now, I love it. I love myself some clones. I love prequel characters. The Clone Wars, the prequels, it's my favorite part of Star Wars. But it is starting, I think, to get a little bit much. But also, we've had so many, or haven't gotten so many things from Star Wars and the prequels that I think at this moment, like the Coruscant Guard gunship, I'd love to get new stuff and stuff I guess we haven't gotten in a while, whether that's... A Palpatine's arrest. Um, I know there's just so many things, um, Kashyyyk things. I feel like we haven't got a solid Kashyyyk, but I feel like we also haven't really gotten wave specific stuff in a while, like planet wave specific stuff. Where I feel like a few years back, if you got one Hoth thing, it was five Hoth things. If it was a Kashyyyk thing, that's what all the prequel sets would be that year. It would be five Kashyyyk sets. Uh, really any planet, whether that's Tatooine, where you get, have a bunch of those as well. Taking a look at this set, of course, the two minifigures here, uh, Mace Windu and General Grievous. The build is the uh, speeder. That's uh, that's your 157 pieces. I, I guess a few are put into the figures. But um, the blue, uh, light bluish gray, a few other accent colors in there. I think it looks quite good. Um, the spears right at the front, I think, look quite uh, nice as well. The stickers here, uh, that one there, that one there, that and that, are large stickers, but um, I think they add some really nice detail. Um, there are a lot of large pieces in this set, so it creates a decently sizable thing for the price of it. Um, you know, it's it's about your price to your $40 set right now, and of course it's a lot thinner and maybe flimsier. It's not flimsy, it's a pretty strong thing, um, but it's definitely a bit light. Um, but I think they get size here in that 157 pieces quite well using the larger dish pieces that make up that whole midsection. It's sort of split up into two sections almost. Um, where you have this part that's attached with the Technic pin, and then that goes into the big dish part um, for a bit of playability. Here you've got some spring-loaded shooters at the bottom. That's the structure of the thing. These uh, parts here, just so that it can slide on a surface. Of course, being a speeder, relatively easier. Exactly, really what you would want. Um, it's easy to pick around, move around, 
Um, and of course you have those, uh, st well you have studs all around if you want to place um, minifigures quite easily. Um, but you can place Grievous or anyone I guess, but mainly Grievous in his spot in the speeder um, quite easily and just have him riding along uh, while he's going down to try to kill some more Jedi for his uh, lightsaber collection. Um, there's of course clips there as well so you can attach two of his lightsabers, not all of them. Um, actually, I never mind, there are... Uh, okay then. Um, there, that went right past my head. <laughs> that was really close to my eye. Um, so there's actually four. Um, they just would definitely stick out a little bit and look probably a little bit wonky while you were moving the set around. So having the lightsaber clips there, of course, is nice to have that, um, but it's uh, it's not. Uh, it probably wouldn't look the best having them attached there. I think overall it looks quite nice. I think it represents the combat speeder quite well. Of course, the studded surface allows for a decent bit of playability. And uh, overall, I think it's a cool concept. I think getting Grievous in a cheaper set was... A good idea at the time. I still think it is. I think including Grievous in the sets is great. Of course, the last time we got him was with Grievous Starfighter, uh, which is what, 2020? So we're going up on getting closer to four years now uh, without Grievous. So I'd love to get another one because um, I just, the figure is really cool. Um, it really is. Um, so taking away the build here uh, to look at the uh, minifigures. There's of course two in this set. You get General Grievous from the name of the set um, as well as Mace Windu. Um, General Grievous um, is in his um, most recent variations. Of course the original one just a couple pieces put together. It's of course a molded piece but not um, any printing or anything like a lot of figures at the time. Um, but, um, and then the Clone Wars came around where we got the tan colored Grievous with the larger Clone Wars style eyes. And now this white, uh, Grievous that's appeared in sets, uh, since he was introduced. So three or four, like we don't get Grievous in that many sets. So I believe it's three of them. Um, and, uh, He's got uh, his four arms there uh, with um, a few of them, or two of them being uh, detachable uh, in the, uh, that you can just easily remove. Uh, taking a look at the minifigure like this, I think he looks quite cool. Um, the uh, head print, I've, I've always just loved this figure. Um, I, I would have loved to see that they do Hugh Yang like this. I just, I feel like that's how I imagined him. And just with the quality of this minifigure, I'd love to have seen that done with the droid. Um, but yeah, the uh, shapes and everything about it, it just looks really good. I've always loved the feet, how they're shaped. I think they just capture it so well. Um, and uh, each hand has a bit of printing on it. Uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, you did get an extra um, hand. Not a whole set of them, but you did get an extra one. Um, for that small piece, which of course it's a small clip piece, it makes sense that it was included. The Mace Windu minifigure here um, is, I believe, different than the one that would have been in the ATTE uh, in 2013 or 14, um, but um, I think this one's quite good. Uh, leg printing, torso printing, and back torso printing. The purple lightsaber has always stood out to me for Mace Windu to being a really cool aspect. I really like the face print used here. Of course, uh, since the release of this Mace Windu, we have gotten other Mace Windus that are different from this one in 2021 with the release of the UCS Republic gunship. There was this version of Mace Windu, which introduced the new face print for him, along with Geonosis dirt printing on his torso, which is very subtle, but is there. Of course, his purple lightsaber. And then the best Mace Windu to date released in the Republic fighter tank. And honestly, it's one of the best LEGO Star Wars minifigures I think I've ever 
really seen. It's just, it's, it's a great figure. Um, the arm printed Mace Windu. Of course, the torso and leg details are very, very similar. Um, just looking at, I'm assuming that it's a Clone Wars first live action variation, because looking at the torso print of the one that came in the uh, Republic or the gunship, um, the only thing that seems to be different with it is that the uh, the uh, dirt prints, whereas this one, I've noticed a little bit of different, uh, oh, variation when it comes to the uh, belt um, and uh, without to, or removing a couple things there. Um, the arm printing is just very good and um, really, I guess, improved on this minifigure. I do still think the face print of this to uh, 2018 Mace Windu um, is the best, um, but uh, I think it's a, a good minifigure um, introduced or uh, that came in the uh, Grievous uh, Speeder. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for my, uh, review of this set. Overall, um, I think it's a, uh, really good set. Um, and, uh, I'm happy I picked it up when I did. I definitely would have missed it if I hadn't gone to the Lego store and bought it. And, uh, looking back at a few sets at the time, I definitely missed them. And I ha I'm happy that I didn't. Uh, miss this one. I never got Grievous Starfighter, uh, which I sort of wish I did, but it was also, I feel like it was 100 or 130, and that just felt like a lot for the set. And I guess at the time, this one definitely felt like a lot for the set. Of course, the price difference is huge, 130 versus $35, but it just, looking at this set when it released, it seemed like it was ridiculously overpriced. Of course, Grievous increased the price of sets so often. Um, which would be really interesting if we got like a Grievous Micro Fighter or something, if it would be like a $30 Micro Fighter. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm happy that I bought this set when I did. Uh, I would not suggest it now at its $100 price. I just, you know, you can get, go out and get the Republic fighter tank and get a better Mace Window minifigure. You can go out and get Grievous and he won't be too, that expensive. And I don't believe the sh uh, speeder build, as good as it is, and I think it is a good build, it's nothing spectacular. Um, I think the colors are really cool. So unless you have some big droid, grievous, whatever it is collection, I wouldn't suggest this at its current uh, price. I just think that's a bit too expensive for the set. Um, just considering what is currently out, of course, that uh, Republic fighter tank will be retiring shortly, but uh, overall, I think it's a good set. Um, being a retired set, I feel like it's sort of important to mention, would I suggest going out and buying this currently at its current price? No, I wouldn't, but I think if you could get it at a decent price or used and it was in decent condition with those two figures, I think it's a decent Thing. And looking at the price there, it's around $50, which I still think is a bit much, uh, considering what's currently out for $50, but that Grievous is really cool. I'm not 100% sure on the price of Grievous, but I'm sure he's not more than like $20 to $25. Um, so yeah, I, I would say if you want the two characters, Mace Windu from the Republic fighter tank and just buy Grievous, I don't think the build is overly special. That's worth its $100 price currently, but... Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.